<laughs> That's awesome. These are spiders riding spiders, right? Does it really? Stupid hitbox. All right, bitches, now move it. That's fucking cool. And they're each separate entities, right? And they're like, one is controlling the next, controlling the next, controlling the next. Now go do something, spider face. <laughs> cool. So I have a spider, 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 spider jockey. <laughs> it's like an abomination. Modular turrets. <laughs> yeah, I don't need that much spider in my life. However, the turrets do. I mean, those really need the homeworld ion cannon sound. That... <laughs> oh, this reminds me. There's something weird going on on the... Uh... Extra Life server, which is still running, incidentally. Oh, I'll show you guys real quick. You, uh, you, uh, there we go. Yeah, so, so this is going on. Somebody made a disc of sheep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kill us. <clears throat> you think Rage did it? <laughs> There's so many eyes. <laughs> and I don't think they're stuck in the fence. I think they're they're physically able to move, they just don't. <clears throat> but yeah, that's a thing. I thought you guys might get a kick out of that. There's one sheep that's free not part of the Eldritch Abomination. The engine seems to do quite a bit. Handle a lot pretty well. <clears throat> you got to admit the game of the the no oh, neat that wasn't there before. <laughs> the Tower of Pimps remains awesome. Uh, the the world geometry is really simple, mostly ninety degree angles, except for well no, including critters, right up until something small moves around. It's actually a bit disappointing how slow shaders make things. Oops. I didn't think music would stop when I did that. Well, 
Up yours, game! Go back in and show you guys this other world. Cue the sun. Hey, there goes an Enderman. <clears throat> Busy little bastard, isn't he? Oop, he's getting fried. Oop, he's getting, getting fried. I think they got him. <laughs> what do you mean you can't LOD it? Can't you just do that based on distance? Anyway, as I reveal my ignorance about how uh, 3D engines work. So this world has... Uh, uh, it, don't mind the snow trail. That was from an experiment that succeeded wildly. Uh, this world has lots of cool stuff in it. Very, very tall mountains that are still below 250, so you can still build on them. Like this is a uh, 244. I'm making the server do some extra work. Biomes are bigger, valleys are, you know, plains are bigger, mountains are taller. There's lots of deserts, oceans. Huh. Interesting. <clears throat> it's just cubes. But I guess because there's fucking hundreds of thousands of them. Yeah, okay, fine, that makes sense. Never mind then. <clears throat> right, and there's six faces per block, although some of them are hidden. Or occluded, rather. So, but yeah, there, there's this huge plain. There's big forest over here. Burp. Big, big forest. Poor server. <laughs> I haven't actually explored this forest. So, yeah, it'd be fun to play on this... Um, you know, on this world with those parameters and that seed on a multiplayer server if we get the right mods plugged in. You said <clears throat> to use uh, Forge and Fastcraft, was it? ATG makes things make sense. You're putting a lot of faith in my brain and its ability to make things or make sense. Oh, right, it's a different terrain generator. Yeah, it's for 1-7, of course. Yeah, trouble is I couldn't get the shaders to work with 1.7. Yeah, I suppose that's my problem, isn't it?
Now, for fun... But I, actually, this assumes there's even any villagers left. Because I sort of did this earlier. And... Oh yeah, there are villagers. You gentle, peaceful creatures, tending to your farms, admiring the flowers and the butterflies and crickets, enjoying the beautiful weather. And now you can enjoy your zombie death! Wow, they move fast. Hey, ugly, you're supposed to be in your house. You'll be the first. <laughs> you guys have lava here? Oh, there he goes. Oh, right, there's that lava. Now, these are witches, aren't they? The reason I ask is they... Well... They don't go inside when... Night falls. And critters aren't attacking them. The trouble is, during the day, these guys don't attack the villagers. Render Minecraft worlds with ray tracing allows for pretty much infinite render distance. How does one do that? I'm interested. Ah, Creeper! I think Creepers are adorable. Especially with this texture pack. Like, hey! They're all sad. Cue the sun! Boink! Oh shit! <laughs> That's a lot more zombies that showed up. <laughs> and the villagers! are stupid enough to come out and get themselves zombified and killed. I wish creepers would attack mobs. <clears throat> I'm just in a destructive mood, aren't I? I kinda wanna see this. Let me grab that link. Wow, that's pretty good. I'm really happy that ray tracing is still something people are interested in. I remember trying to play with Persistence of Vision, Pav Ray, way back when a 486. 33 megahertz was the shit. I notice there's no textures, it's just solid color, but that doesn't really matter much. I wouldn't call this infinite draw distance, but it's still pretty good. If you don't cast too many rays, you can... Uh, it's been too long since I went to school and learned about this. I don't remember how ray tracing even works. 
I mean, I know you cast rays from a point, like from the camera's point, and just to see what color the light is when it bounces back. This is gorgeous, though. This is really impressive. He's getting a good frame rate out of that very big draw distance. That's pretty good. Very cool. And he thinks performance will get better, too, which is really cool. Well, yeah, yeah. Eventually, the curvature of the Earth takes care of what you can see, but this ain't Earth. Yeah, exactly. All right, so there's... there's we're missing some... Yeah, let's, let's fix this. So, I was responsible for the murder of a bunch of villagers. I suppose I should... Hey. Oh, right. There. There's a bunch of villagers. Have fun, fuckers! <laughs> Watch them scatter. It was a baby villager. They humped in that short a period? Wow, I'm impressed. Wolfenstein was ray traced? The original. Holy shit. It's even more impressive. That game was just amazing when it came out. What we're missing is a bunch of zombies. <laughs> that sound when they get punched. doesn't get old. We're going to do that a hundred more times. <laughs> Here's some more fodder, you fucking things. Come on. They're going after that kid. That's, that's terrible. This ain't Elder Scrolls. The kids are going to die. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't take much to entertain me, does it? <laughs> That's just great. <laughs> what the? Sounded like something just caught fire. I will give this game credit well, for a lot of things, but it really does handle lots of uh, mobs very efficiently. <laughs> Boris with kill cannons. Gonna be a beating coming in here. That little kid got turned into a zombie bastard. Is beating the hell. Oh, that piece is on me now. More villagers! <laughs> I take it this didn't used to be so good at it. Ha! <laughs> 
I love that little zombie kid beating the shit out of some adult villager. <laughs> Someone just burst into flames. <laughs> 